Good morning. Today we'll be doing the Liturgy of the Hours morning prayer for May 16th. Today is the Tuesday of the sixth week of Easter. Let's have our moment of silence before our prayer. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. You have come to Mount Zion and to the city of the living God. Alleluia. Defend, Defend me, O God, God and plead my cause against, against a godless, godless nation. nation. From, From deceitful and cunning men, rescue me, O God. Since you, O God, are my stronghold, why have you rejected me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? O oh, send forth your light and your truth. Let this be my guide. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. And I will come to the altar of God, the God of my joy. My Redeemer, I will thank you on the harp, O oh God, my God. Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise Him still, my Savior and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You have come to Mount Zion, and to the city of the living God. Alleluia. Lord, you have preserved my life from destruction. Alleluia. Once I said, in the noon time of life, I must depart. To the gates of the nether world, I shall be consigned for the rest of my years. I said, I shall see the Lord no more in the land of the living. No longer shall I behold my fellow men among those who dwell in the world. My dwelling, like a shepherd's tent, it is struck down and borne away from me. You have folded up my life, like a weaver who severs the last thread. Day and night you give me over to torment. I cry out until the dawn. Like a lion, he breaks all my bones. 
day and night you give me over to torment. Like a swallow, I utter spirit cries. I moan like a dove. My eyes grow weak, gazing heavenward. O Lord, I am straight. Be my surety. You have preserved my life from the pit of destructions when you cast behind your back all my sins. For it is not the neither world that gives you thanks nor death that praises you. Neither those who go down into the pit await your kindness. The living, the living give you thanks as I do today. Fathers declare to their sons, O God, your faithfulness. The Lord is our Savior. We shall sing to string instruments in the house of the Lord all the days of our life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, you have preserved my life from destruction. Alleluia. You have visited the earth and brought life-giving rain to fill it with plenty. Alleluia. To, to you our praise is due in Zion, Zion O God. God. To you we pay our vows. You who hear our prayer. To, to you all flesh will come with this burden of sins. Too heavy for us, our, our offenses, but you wipe them away. Blessed is he whom you choose and call to dwell in your courts. We are filled with the blessings of your house, of your holy temple. You, you keep your pledge with wonders, O God, our Savior, the hope of all the earth and of far distant isles. You uphold the mountains with your strength. You are girded with power. You still the roaring of the seas, the roaring of the waves and the tumult of the peoples. The ends of the earth stand in awe at the sight of your wonders, the land of sunrise and sunset, you fill with your joy. You care for the earth, give it water, you fill it with riches. Your river in heaven brings over to provide its grain. And thus you provide for the earth, you drench its furrows, you level it, soften it with showers, you bless its growth. You crown the year with your goodness, abundance flows in your steps, in the pastures of the wilderness it flows. The hills are girded with joy, the meadows covered with flocks, the valleys are decked with wheat, they shout for joy, Yes, they sing. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, now, and will be forever. Amen. You have visited the earth and brought life-giving rains to fill it with plenty. Alleluia. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. God raised Jesus from the dead, and for many days thereafter, Jesus appeared to those who had come up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem. These are the witnesses now before the people. We ourselves announce to you the good news that what God promised our fathers, he fulfilled for us, their children, in raising up Jesus according to what is written in the second Psalm. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. The word of the Lord.
Good morning, happy Easter. He is truly risen. Alleluia, alleluia. In today's reading from the Acts of the Apostles, we hear once again the affirmation that Jesus Christ has truly risen. He continues to appear to many, including his disciples. And in today's reading from the Gospel, we hear Jesus telling them that he must go. And this saddens them. But he says that if he does not go, then the paraclete, the helper, will not come. And so he's preparing us for his ascension into heaven and then Pentecost, when the Holy Spirit will come upon the apostles and change their lives forever. We should also be mindful of the Holy Spirit. Many times we, we pray to God, we recognize Jesus, Mary, and sometimes we overlook the power of the Holy Spirit. He is there to help us through our difficult times. So never forget to call upon him to help you, strengthen you, so that you can continue to do God's will. So as we continue our prayer this morning, be mindful that we are celebrating Jesus Christ, risen from the dead, and preparing ourselves to receive the Holy Spirit in a very special way. God bless you. Have a good day. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. The, the Lord, Lord is risen, risen from, from the tomb. tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. He hung upon the cross for us. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. In a little while, the world will no longer see me, but you will see me, for I live in you, and you will live. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadows of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In a little while, the world will no longer see me, but you will see me, for I live, and you will live. Alleluia. The spotless Lamb of God takes away the sins of the world, let us give thanks to the Father and say, Source of all life, raise us to life. Source of all life, remember the death and resurrections of the Lamb slain on the cross. Listen, Listen to his voice as, as he lives forever, making intercession for us. Now that the old leaven of wickedness and evil is destroyed, May we always feed on the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Grant that today we may put aside all frictions and jealousy. 
and show greater concern for the needs of others. Send into our hearts the spirit of the gospel, that, that we may walk in the way of your commandments, today and forever. At this time, let us pause for a moment to lift up our own personal intentions. Lord, we surrender to you all our petitions including those who are praying with us today we ask lord that all these will be in accordance to your will as we say source of all life raise us to life gathering our prayers and praises into one we now pray the prayer jesus taught us our father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy son on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Thank you for praying with us. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Same time, same place, same channel. Have a great day.